The coalition government asks Supreme Court Justice Ijazul Ehsan and Justice Syed Mazahir Ali Akbar Nakhvi to recuse themselves from a larger Supreme Court bench that is hearing so motor proceedings regarding the delay in the announcement of a date for elections in Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The request was presented in a joint note by the PPP, PMLN and JUIF. A nine-member bench headed by Chief Justice of Pakistan Umar Atta Bandial heard the case. On Thursday, Justice Mando Khail had objected to the Suomoto notice and termed it not justified. In today's hearing, Chief Justice of Pakistan Umar Atta Bandial said that in normal circumstances, citizens knocked on the door of the court. But today, the constitution of Pakistan has knocked on the court's doorstep. Subsequently, the court observed that it will decide on Monday whether to form a full court bench or hear the case. While addressing the National Assembly, Defence Minister Khwaja Asif criticised the judiciary for trespassing into the parliament's jurisdiction by rewriting Article 63A of the Constitution as he demanded a full court bench be constituted for the ongoing civil motor proceedings linked to the delay in Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa elections. And the things that happened in the past, the lapses that happened, they should be corrected. And for the sake of the fact that they should be able to make a solution, they should be able to make a solution. جس کے اوپر جو ہے اس ریاست کا ڈھانچہ جو ہے وہ مضبوطی کے ساتھ تاب جو ہے وہ کھڑا رہ سکے کانٹروورشل کانٹروورسیز کو جنریٹ نہ کریں سکسٹی تھری اے کو جو ہے ری رائٹ نہ کریں کرنا ہے تو ریورس کریں کہ یہ بنیادی حقوق کے خلاف ہے کہ تا حیات جو ہے کہ ایک بندے کو اپنی عوام کو ریپریزنٹ کرنے کے حق سے آپ محروم کر دیتے ہیں the remarks come at a time when the Supreme Court has constituted a nine-member bench for a Suomoto notice aiming to resolve the issue of when elections in Punjab and KB would be held. Days ago, President Arif Alvi had unilaterally announced 9th April as the election date after the Election Commission of Pakistan rejected his invitation to meet for the purpose. During his address today, Khwaja Asif termed himself a respondent affected by the judiciary's decisions. Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif expressed gratitude to a very friendly nation for providing assistance to Pakistan even before the finalization of negotiations with the IMF to resume a lifeline needed to avert default. IMF se go ke inshallah mamla tay ho jayenge, magar it still week ten days you know in the future. Or uske liye jo ek bahut ایک کڑی شرائط کو ہم مجبور ہو گئے ہیں ان کو منظور کرنے کے لیے ان کو ماننے کے لیے کیونکہ سٹیٹ آف پاکستان پہلے ہے اور باقی چیز اس کے مہتاہت ہے تو یقیناً آج یہ ہاؤس اور خاص طور پر میرے جو پولٹیکل پارٹنرز ہیں ان سب نے اپنی جو پولٹیکل سٹیک داؤ پر لگائی ہے اور سٹیٹ کو بجانے کے لیے دل کی اتھا گرائیوں سے اور خلوص سے وہ پوری کوشش کر رہے ہیں He did not name the country, the extent of the assistance that was provided or when the said assistance took place. The Prime Minister added that the IMF deal would be finalized in a week to 10 days. The Prime Minister said that negotiations with the IMF would soon be successful but economic difficulty would still persist in the form of very stringent conditions by the IMF. An anti-terrorism court in Gujarat issued bailable arrest warrants for Interior Minister Rana Sanawala for allegedly threatening the judiciary and government officials in his public speeches. A terrorism case was registered against Sanawala in August last year. The FIR stated that during his speeches on 15th April 2021 and 29th January 2022, the Interior Minister had threatened to stop the judiciary from doing its job and kill the children of the Punjab police officials. The court also directed law enforcers to arrest and produce the minister before the ATC on 7th March.